Welcome back, folk. We've been looking at interest. We've looked at compound interest, we've looked at simple interest, but up to now what we've looked at is we've looked, presumed that all interest is calculated on an annual basis. So if I keep money in the bank, I'm going to pay interest or I'm going to get interest after the year. Well, the truth is that's not always the only method. Sometimes we can get money based on monthly. So after a month, we're getting a bit of interest. Or even after a day, the bank is calculating our interest. Okay, let's read this just so that we understand the difference between annual or per annum interest, monthly interest, and daily interest. Let's have a look here. PA, which means per annum, which means yearly. This is an annual interest rate, and it's applied only once a year. Monthly. The interest is applied at the end of every month. The interest is calculated 12 times a year. Ah, but remember, to divide the interest rate by 12 before applying it to a calculation. What does that mean? Gee, it's quite big words here and in all kinds of sentences. What it basically means is this, that if I go to a bank and I say, right, here's some money, guys, I want to put it in the bank, and they say, cool, we'll give you 10% interest. I'm like, great stuff. Beginning of January, I put the money in the bank. After one month, I go to the bank and say, I want my money. The bank going to say, okay, cool, here's your money. I'm going to say, no, hold on, you told me I'd get 10%. And they said, yes, but that's if you keep it for the whole year. If you only keep it for a month, we're only going to give you a twelfth of that interest. In other words, I'm taking the interest, dividing it by 12. So when I'm calculating interest on a monthly basis, folk, we divide the interest by 12. That makes sense. It's kind of fair, isn't it? Okay, so now let's look at daily. The interest is applied at the end of every day. The interest is calculated 360 times a year. But remember, divide the interest rate by 365 before applying it to a calculation. When would we use 12? We'd use 12 on monthly. On daily, 365 times. Okay, now let's have a look at a nice sort of an example. 100,000 is invested in a bank um, at 4,8% per annum compound interest. By completing the table, determine the balance in the bank after five months. All right, so I've got 100,000 rand in the bank. The bank says we'll give you 4,8% interest. I'm like, cool. So, let's have a look here. We take our calculator and we say, I've got 100,000 Rand. I'm going to multiply it by 4.8% interest. Okay. And I get an answer here of 4,800 Rand. But guys, remember, this 4,8% is per annum. In other words, if I leave it there for the whole year, I will get this amount of 4,800. I'm not for the year. I want to know how much interest am I getting after one month. Well, after one month, we're going to divide it by 12. So for that month, for the month of January, or whatever month it is, I'm earning 400 Rand interest. Okay, that means after that month, I've got the 100,000 Rand plus the 400. So I've got 100,400 Rand in the bank. Okay, 4,8% interest per annum, not per month. Let's see now what happens in month two. At the beginning of the month, I've got this 100,400 Rand and now I want to calculate 4,8% interest on it. So we got 100,400 Rand, multiply by 4.8%, and again, I get an answer of 4,819 Rand 20 cents, but that is for the whole year. I just want to know how much interest am I getting for that month. If the bank's paying me monthly interest, means after every month they're adding 
the interest. Okay, so we divide that by 12 and I get my answer now of 401 Rand 60 cents. So 401 Rand 60 cents. We add that and I'm going to land up with 100 Rand, oh sorry, 100,801 Rand 60 cents. If that's what it was at the big end of last month, the beginning of this month, it's also that amount of money. Hopefully, unless it's been a robbery and they've taken the money out the bank. But I trust I've still got that money. Okay, so 100,801 Rand and 60 cents. I'm going to multiply it by the 4.8% and I get an answer of years like a big number. 4,838 Rand and comma 4768 divided by 12. Why by 12? Because we want to work out the interest for that month alone. So that month it's 403 Rand and 21 cents. 403 Rand 21 cents. Sure. Now we add it again. Okay. So let's take that. We've got a hundred thousand 801 Rand and 60 cents. To that we added 403 and 21 cents. And we land up with an answer of 101,204 Rand and 81 cents. 101, 204 and 81 cents. At the beginning of that month, 101, 204 and 81. We're calculating the interest for that month and I'm just going to do it one more time now. So multiply that now by 4.8%. Get an answer. There's my answer. Divide it by 12 and we've got the interest for that month. 404 Rand 82 cents. 404 and 82 cents. Then we'd add up those two digits. The answer would come there, or rather those two numbers, the answer would go there. We calculated the interest again, remembering to divide by 12, and then we'll land up with our final answer over there. Okay, another example, and I did rush the last one towards the end because I want to get to this. This is important. Okay, so we're looking at daily interest now. Whoa, this is tough. So the balance at the beginning of the day, I've got 87 Rand in my account. So let's put this on the calculator just so we can see exactly what we're doing. I've got 87 Rand. I get a deposit of 21,500. Years like it's a cool salary. I imagine someone putting 21,500 into your bank account to tell you what you'll stand up and jump for joy. So let's do that. Plus 21,500 Rand equals and there you can see the balance after the transaction is 21,587 um, Rand. Now, we want to know how much interest have I got on that amount of money. Now, you can see it's 4,5%, but that's if I leave it there for a year. I'm not leaving it for a year. How long am I, am I doing this? on a daily basis. So if I do that daily, I've got this amount, I'm going to multiply it by 4.5%. Okay, that gives me this wonderful amount of 971 Rand. But again, that's if I leave that money there for the entire year. I want to know how much interest am I getting after one day? What do I have to do with this money? Sadly, I have to divide it by 365 because there's 365 days in a year. Equals, and I get 2 Rand 66. So I've now got 2 Rand 66 cents. Now I add these figures up. So I've got 21,589 Rand 66 cents. So at the beginning of the next day, 21,589 Rand and 66 cents. I'm going to slap that into my computer quickly. 21,589 Rand, 66 cents. I withdraw 5,000. What's withdraw mean? It means you 
take out 5,000. So let's subtract 5,000. Okay. And we land up then with 16,000. So 16,589 Rand 66. Now, what's the interest on that amount? Well, remember 4,5%. So let's do that quickly. Times 4.5%. Percent, and we get an answer. But now we have to take that answer and divide it by 365. Why? Because 365 days in a year. And we now get an answer of 2 Rand and 5 cents. 2 Rand, 5 cents. I want us to notice something here because we haven't come across this yet. You will see here that my interest is 2 Rand 66, whereas here my interest is lower. It's 2 Rand 5 cents. But remember, this 266 was based on 21,000. This 2 Rand 5 cents was only based on 16,000. Okay, so because it was based on a lower amount, the interest is going to be that much lower as well. All right, so we add those up now, and I'm going to land up then with 16,591 Rand 71 cents. Okay. So let's slap that into our calculator quickly. We've got 16,591 Rand and 71 cents. Okay, it's in our calculator. Let's just write her down here because that's going to be the balance at the beginning of the next month. And for some reason, someone comes along and deposits 286 Rand. In other words, they put 286 Rand into the account. So we're going to add 286 Rand. And now we're getting 16,877. 16,877. And how many cents was that? 71 cents. Again, let's calculate the interest. Okay, so I'm going to say cool, multiply that by 4.5%. And then remember, we're going to divide that answer by 365. And we get an answer of 2 Rand, 8 cents. 2 Rand, 8 cents again. Slightly more interest than the previous day. Why? Because this amount is slightly more than the previous day. And then we're going to take these two figures, add them, and get an answer over here. Put the same answer, subtract a thousand rand, work out the interest, add these two figures, get an answer, and so forth. All right, nice way of doing this question. Practice these guys, it's like really important. Okay, in summary then, in this segment we covered the following. We looked again at the difference between simple and compound interest and we calculated compound interest using various methods and remember we also looked at annual, monthly and daily interest. That's it from us folks, we'll meet each other again on that TV screen. Until then, stay well.